Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Facts on important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance, scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity, famous birthdays, famous passings, technological discoveries and how they have advanced humanity. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. So let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for April 15. Today is Anime Day. What a day to talk with your friends about your favorite stories and childhood memories and new ones alike. With the ever ongoing stories found in anime, so many unique stories, so many talented artists sharing a new story of their character and the world they created. Today is the dreaded Income Tax Day. If you haven't filed your taxes yet in the United States, chill out. You got an extension, but honestly, do it this week, or else you're gonna find yourself asking for another extension and incurring a penalty, and nobody wants to pay extra. So do your taxes by clicking the link in the description below to learn more about it from the IRS website itself. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. Today is also That Sucks Day. So... If you haven't done your taxes... Oh, well... I gotta say... That sucks. Okay, important historical facts for April 15th. In 1689, French King Louis the 14th declared war on Spain. Why did they declare war again? Let's see. During this time, France was the leading European power, and most wars pivoted around its aggressiveness. It had wealth, central location, and a very strong professional soldier regime. So they declared France has its declared enemies, Germany and all the states that it embraces, Spain with all its dependencies in Europe, Asia, Africa, and America. France has undeclared enemies, indirectly hostile, hostile, and envious of its greatness. Well, a little pompous, but still, war was declared. In 1755, a publication was printed titled A Dictionary of the English Language. It was published in London. The prominent literary figure Samuel Johnson was behind it with a group of publishers that took nine years to publish. It included definitions and illustrations. Samuel Johnson's portrait today is used as a meme called The Fuck Did I Just Read? It was first uploaded on March 17th, 2012 from Funny Junk user Muggle Masher. It certainly gets the point across and makes you laugh. In 1802, William Wordsworth wrote, I wandered lonely as a cloud. You can read it by clicking the link in the description below. In 1861, the Federal Army was mobilized by United States President Abraham Lincoln in the United States Civil War. In 1874, the first Impressionist exhibition opened in Paris. The Impressionists faced a harsh opposition from the conventional art community in France. The name of the style derives from the title of a Claude Monet work named Like So. Impression Soleil Levant, which means Impression Sunrise. Other artists such as Edgar Degas, Pierre Auguste Renoir, Camille Pissarro, and Bert Morisot exhibited their art as well. In 1877, the city of Boston Somerville installed the world's first telephone in Massachusetts. In 1892, the General Electric Company, founded by a merger between Thomas Edison's General Electric Company and with Thomas Houston's Electric Company, J.P. Morgan arranged the incorporation in New York. In 1912, the RMS Titanic sank around 2.27 a.m. off of Newfoundland as the band played on, with the loss of, of an estimated figure between 1,490 and 1,635 people. Fun facts for April 15th. In 1999, In Living Color premiered on Fox TV. In 1729, Johnson Sebastian Bach's St. Matthew Passion premiered at Leipzig. 
sports facts for April 15th. In 1896, the first modern Summer Olympics game closed in Athens, Greece. USA won gold medal count of 11 medals. Greece won a total medal count of 46. The IOC has retroactively assigned gold, silver, and bronze medals to three best-placed athletes in each event. In 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first African-American to play in U.S. Major League Baseball for the Dodgers. In 1989, an accident happened at Hillsboro Football Stadium known as the Hillsboro Disaster. The match was between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest for an FA Cup semifinal. In the two standing only central pens and the allocated to Liverpool supporters, it was found that in an attempt to ease overcrowding outside the entrance turnstiles, the police commander David Duckenfield ordered exit gate C be opened, which led to an influx of even more supporters to the pens. It caused massive crowding with 96 people being crushed and 766 counted injuries. In the Taylor Report, which came out one year later, the main cause was found. It stated there was a failure of control by South Yorkshire Police. The Director of Public Prosecutions ruled there was no evidence to justify prosecution of individuals or institutions. On this day, Guy Carawan sang the song We Shall Overcome to a student nonviolent coordinating committee and rally, popularizing the song as a protest anthem. Famous birthdays for April 15th. In 1452, Leonardo da Vinci was born. He was a prominent figure during the Renaissance. He was a polymath, painter, sculptor, architect, musician, engineer, and inventor. He is remembered as one of the greatest painters of all time. His inventions included a flying machine, a tank, concentrated solar power, an adding machine, the double hull, and a theory of plate tectonics. In 1469, Guru Nanak was born. He is the founder of the religion of Sikhism and the first of Sikh Guru. He preached his beliefs of one God, equality of all, and the importance of kindness, hard work, and honesty. In 1943, Robert Lefkowitz was born. He is a physician and scientist. He was awarded the 2012 Nobel Peace Prize for chemistry in the study of G-protein coupled receptors. Well, what do those do? They are responsible for the detection of molecules outside of a cell and active cellular responses. You can read more about them by clicking the link in the description below. Famous passings that happened on April 15th. April 15th, 1865. Abraham Lincoln passed. He was the 16th U.S. president and died from the assassination plot by John Wilkes Booth. In April 15, 2010, Jack Herrera passed. He was an American cannabis rights activist. The Emperor Wears No Clothes is a book that is frequently cited in efforts to decriminalize and legalize cannabis and to, extend and to expand the use of hemp for industrial uses. Jack Herrera also founded and served as the director of the organization Help End Marijuana Prohibition, or HEMP for short. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.